Scale trick two, this is chapter seven, section five, this is example three. This time we're going to use what we've learned about Descartes' rule of signs and figure out all the possible roots and find them. So first thing we need to do is find the positive roots. I'm going to look for positive roots, negative roots, and imaginary roots and make my little table over here. Um, so it goes positive to negative, so that's one. Negative to positive, that's two. Positive to positive, so we just have two and it goes down by an even number, so two or zero positive roots. Next, we want to find f of negative x. So a negative to the third power is a negative, so that becomes negative x cubed. A negative squared stays the same, so that's still x, negative x squared. Negative to the first power changes signs, and then we've got our plus four in the end. And so we go negative to negative, negative to negative, negative to positive. We have one negative root for sure. And then the last thing we want to do is find our imaginaries. So we have this to a possible degree of three. So our total should be three. Okay. So two plus one already is three, so that would be zero imaginaries. And 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 2 more. So we either have 0 or 2 imaginaries depending on how many positive roots we have. So let's take a look at um, finding our negative roots. Since we know for a fact we have one negative root, I'm going to look for that. I'm going to start with negative 1 because it's the easiest thing to start with. And then we're going to go back and grab our original uh, polynomial. And so this is a 1. And then this is to the degree 3, so degree 2, degree 1, we are counting 2, we're not skipping any. So this is a negative 1, this is a 2, and this is a 4. Use my synthetic division, drop the 1 straight down, negative 1, negative 1, that's negative 1, that's negative 2. Negative 1 times 2 is positive 2, so that's 4. And negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And that is a 0, and there is our negative first root. This is now our depressed polynomial. So the depressed polynomial is x squared minus 2x plus 4. And we have factors of 4 that add get us negative 2 and aren't any. So at this point we would use the quadratic so x equals negative b plus or minus square root. b squared or AC all over 2A. And when we fill that in, um, so our negative B would be a positive 2 plus or minus square root. B squared would be 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 all over 2. So this is 2 plus 4 minus, and that's going to be a negative 12 over 2. And 12, square root of 12 is the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. So that's 2 square root of 3, which is an i in there. So this is going to be 2 plus 4 minus 2i square roots of 3 all over 2. And the very last thing we do is reduce that. So the 2 divides into both of these things. So it's 1 plus or minus i square roots of 3. So we have our 2 imaginary roots and our 1 real root. So x is equal to negative 1 or this 1 plus or minus i square roots of 3. And so there's all three of our roots for this function. Let's look at another one. Okay, so on this one, um, let's look and find out how many positive roots, negative roots, imaginary roots, and then we've got our total. Okay, our total. And our total is going to be a 3 because we're to degree 3. So we've got one sign change, positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to negative, so that's 1 sign change, 2 sign change, 3 sign change. So this is either a 3 or a 1. So we're definitely going to have a positive root. Next we want to find f 
of negative x. And again, negative to the third power is negative, so that becomes negative x cubed. Um, squared leaves it the same, so it stays negative 4x squared. Negative to the first power is negative, so negative 6x and minus 4. And we never change our sign, so negative to negative to negative. Never change our sign, so we will not have any negative roots, which means if we had three positive, we had zero imaginaries. If we had one positive, we had two imaginaries to get our total of three. So we know we have at least one positive root, so we can start with um, zero and check out zero and see if zero works here using synthetic division. Um, so if I take a zero and then go back to my original, so this is 1x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 4. And double check, we've got 3, 2, 1, x is 0. We didn't need to put any placeholders in there. Check out 0, so 1 drops down times 0, negative 4 drops down times 0, 6 drops down times 0, and negative 4. So 0 did not work. So then I will try, um, we're looking for a positive one, so we'll try 1. Again, that one did not work. So then I've got my 1, my negative 4, my 6, and my negative 4. Okay, so the 1 drops down. 1 times 1 is 1. Add, that's a negative 3. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So that is a positive 3. 1 times 3 is 3. And that one doesn't work. So then we'll try 2. Okay, so I've got the 1, the 1, 6, and the 4. Negative 1, or positive 1, negative 4, positive 6, negative 4. So 1 drops down, 1 times 2 is 2, that's a negative 2, so 2 times 2 is negative 4, and that's a negative 2, 2 times 2 is 4. And there's our first root, our first root is 2. We now have a depressed polynomial we can work with, so this is going to be, this is an x squared minus 2x plus 2, and I put it back into the form. Uh, we will factor the 2 that there aren't any, so we need to do our quadratic, so x equals negative plus or minus square root b squared or a c all over 2a. Fill that in. And so b is going to be a, I'm going to grab the right one, that's going to be a positive 2 plus or minus square root. So 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times a times c is going to be minus 8 all over 2 times 1 is 2. 4 plus 8 is 12. So this is 2 plus or minus square root of 12 all over 2. Oops, this is, four, this is a negative 4. My bad. Melissa, Dan, move to the office, please. So this is going to be 2 plus or minus oh. Plus or minus um, 2i all over 2. And the very last thing we're going to divide, so these are both 2, so this is 1 plus or minus i. There's my two imaginaries, and we have our one real, which is this 2 right here. And so x is going to be equal to 2 or 1 plus or minus i.